Good evening. Thank you very much, dear Mrs. Rajavi, dear friends, dear sisters. It's an honor for me to be here this afternoon and this night, and I can tell you this. I am impressed by the public. I am impressed by your presence here, and it inspires me in my political work. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am a member of the Belgian Parliament, and I was the chair of the Women's Committee of the Belgian Senate for several years. And I have been celebrating International Women's Day at a time when the whole world is facing the difficult challenge of Islamic fundamentalism, which is no longer a threat only to the Middle East, but also a threat in Paris, Brussels, and everywhere in the West. And this, is, this threatens all our democratic, liberal value, values that we have in our Western world. But we should keep in mind that Iranian people were the first to suffer from Islamic fundamentalism. We should keep that in mind. And let us not forget that under the theocratic rule, Iranian women have suffered the most and have fought the most. And the Iranian resistance movement was the first to start a fight against this evil regime. Mrs. Rajavi, you were the first to call for the formation of a united front against, against Islamic fundamentalism. As a Muslim woman, she, you have become a leading voice, voice which tells the world that her religion supports absolute gender equality in every aspect, from marriage and inheritance law to equal pay and, most importantly, equal participation in political leadership and taking decision-making positions in economic sphere. Mrs. Rajavi, you have, you, are, you have educated women in the PMOI to have an open mind and to support a secular system and freedom of choice for women in all aspects of their lives. So, the best message we can carry forward out of this conference room tonight is a strong message of solidarity, especially with our sisters in Camp Liberty in Iraq, and a solid message of support for Madame Rajavi, who think she is a very great role model to all of you and in fighting against Islam Islamic fundamentalism and extremism. I also wanted to share something personal with you tonight. I have lost my brother at the beginning of this year, and it's changed so much in my life. But it's changed especially my feelings towards all of you who have lost a beloved one, a relative, a friend under the evil regime of Iran. And I can imagine, and I can feel your suffering more than ever before. And I truly hope that me being here today can give you hope and perspective for the future. And I'm sure we will win this battle in the end, and Iran one day will be free. Good luck. You have my support.